Hi, my name is Michael Burks, and this is my application for the Software Sustainability Institute's Fellowship Programme. First, a quick history of my development as a research software enthusiast. I did my undergraduate degree in mathematics and computer science at Imperial College London. Apart from playing lots of football, it was here I received the only formal software engineering teaching I've had in my career. It was also where I got my first real taste of developing research software. In my final year project, I created an app to produce 3D visualizations of a patient's heartbeat, reconstructed from time-gated CT scans using several large-scale imaging and computer vision toolkits that are still popular today. I found the project fascinating and decided to stay in imaging research, moving to Manchester to start a PhD. My research now focused on building statistical appearance models applied to improve the detection and diagnosis of breast cancer in mammograms. This necessarily involved significantly developing my scientific programming skills, mainly using MATLAB. I also learned the value of using version control software to manage and share my code. After finishing my PhD, I moved straight into a postdoc and have remained in the department ever since. I broaden my research to other imaging modalities while keeping a strong focus on statistical learning and modeling methods. I further develop my programming skills using C++ to produce user applications for clinicians following experimental design in MATLAB. I taught myself Python as an alternative scripting language, as well as learning to use the university central shared computer clusters for batch processing of larger image data sets. With a reputation for being a strong programmer, I was asked to write a MATLAB tutorial for students on the Medical Imaging MSc programme. I have been teaching this for the last seven years now, now incorporating an introduction to Python and general programming theory. The QR code below links to one research application I'm particularly proud of, and which is in regular use in imaging trials at Salford Royal Hospital. In 2017, I moved into a smaller group within the imaging department, known as the Quantitative Biomedical Imaging Laboratory. We focus mainly on MR imaging, and I'm currently working on several projects relating to liver cancer. Within the group, I also have a more general remit to manage the lab's code base, and it is here I'd like to focus my plans for an SSI fellowship. While just about everyone involved in MR imaging research has done some form of programming, very few have had formal software training, with researchers in the area typically having a background in medicine, biology or physics. As a result, the take up an understanding of best software practice, such as the use of version control, testing frameworks, and the need for strong documentation within my immediate collaborators is scratchy at best. During my time in the lab, I've created a shared GitLab project on which we now host all our code. I've encouraged the other researchers in our group involved in development to use these repositories, providing help for them to do so. I've made our main C++ analysis software package, Madden, open source, writing full documentation, usage, and cross-platform build instructions, and making available Python and MATLAB wrappers for these tools, encouraging users to contribute feature requests through GitLab's issue board facility. I've also helped researchers in my lab use the repository to make the analysis code used in their research papers public. Throughout, my aim has been to be an ambassador for best software practice in my group both in continually trying to improve how I conduct my own research and in lobbying my seniors to appreciate the importance of time dedicated to software development. I would like to use my role as an SSI fellow to formalize the ad hoc one-to-one -one training I've given to researchers in my lab into a simple best practice seminar on how to use the tools I've put in place. This would be delivered via an interactive online workshop every six months time to coincide with the typical start time of PhD and MSc project students, so that researchers in our field are exposed to these ideas from the very start of their careers. And even those who do not go on to stay in the department take with them the practices they have learned. As well as providing the initial material and recorded guides for these seminars, I would encourage a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring system so that current researchers feel confident in passing on their knowledge directly without always having to ask Mike. My aim is that these training seminars should not just be of benefit to our lab in Manchester, but through my active involvement in OSIPI, the Open Source Initiative in Perfusion Imaging, 
is something that can benefit the wider MRI analysis community. Bridging the gap between users and occasional programmers to people like myself that spend most of our research time dedicated to software development. Finally, due to reorganisation within the medical faculty, the QBI lab has moved out of the imaging group and into the School of Cancer Sciences. Meanwhile, imaging has expanded to include more general health data informatics. As cancer sciences is naturally more application focused, I'm keen to make sure we keep up to date with the latest computer vision methodology. With my years spent in the wider imaging group, I think I'm the ideal link to do this, making use of the shared code repositories that are being developed in parallel to our own GitLab. As a software fellow, I would like to introduce an annual research software away day for researchers across the two departments, with a particular focus on how we share code and how new methods can be deployed to meet the real world research challenges of the cancer group. Thank you very much for watching.